this is another series of ceramics that you've been work, you, you've worked on. And me personally, it, I have the most curiosity about these pieces because not only are they ceramics with fish on them, but uh, you have titled them Angry Fish. And you've also pu uh, put up uh, some of your working drawings about this series. And I, uh, I think they're delightful. I love the colors you've used with the glazes. But can you talk about why not only fish, but why angry fish? Yes. Um, to start with, um, almost everything I do begins on some kind of scratch paper or a sketch pad. And I'm never really conscious of, of trying to make finished drawings. I'm just trying to get my ideas sort of worked out. And from there, I usually start pieces. The uh, sketches on the wall were all done from my imagination. And at one point, I thought I should get a fish book because these, these might not even sort of look like real fish. And if you've ever looked through a fish book, you can't dream up a fish that doesn't exist. You can't come up with anything that is not in the ocean somewhere. So although uh, I learned a lot looking at fish in the fish book, for example, uh, a halibut or a flounder, can have two eyes on the left side or the right side. They tend to usually be on one side, but if that other eye migrates to the right side, that's just the way it goes. They're not all uh, fish with two eyes on one side of their head. So that gave me a certain freedom to just really experiment and come up with my own fish. But they're called angry fish. And the reason they're angry is we humans will not let them reproduce. We humans destroy their habitat, and we humans catch and eat their relatives and their friends. So in most of the, of the depictions on the pots, there are lures in the water, and all the fish are eyeing the lures. They've got mean looks on their faces, but they're not biting. They're fed up with us. Note too that the pots, most of the pots are, are jars. And there's something about the jar form that I just happen to like more than um, other forms because I guess maybe it's my sculptural background. Although the bowl may be the quintessential inside outside piece, I like to look at the exterior and in order to see the interior, it requires viewer interaction to actually pick the piece up, look at the inside of the lid, look at the inside of the pot, and a revelation kind of occurs that the inside is a, a reflection of the outside, but it's not identical. It, it's dramatically different. And the other thing I noticed too is that your when you fire work that has a lid, uh, a lot of people don't know that it's technically difficult because of shrinkage of the clay to make that match up again when, you, when the piece is finished. So it's a challenging form to work in versus making just an open, open shape. To have that lid fit is very com complex and uh, time consuming to, to do. It, it requires you to use a pair of calipers. And when you get good with a pair of calipers, uh, I think the lids and sections of pots made with calipers uh, just happen almost naturally. But it is, I think, the most valuable tool in my, all my ceramics tools is the calipers. 